What was that at? Hmm? Pookie just spit a ball out that was like eight miles away. Alright, this is taking to kill a couple of skeletons. Okay, Pookie. That's enough fun for today. Come on back home now. You heard me bring him home. While they were dying, those crab park dudes said something about Pookie being like a legend? What was that about? If you'd read the tie-in novel, you'd understand. Yeah, Valentine, I did. Yeah. What? When? In the last point three nanoseconds. Oh. Well, how was it? Surprisingly moving. <laughs> okay. Took you long enough. Now it's feeding time. Turn on his collar again so he can eat like a good food. Oh, right, yeah. Smack the collar off of her? Pretty big collar, I'm not gonna lie. Now what are you waiting for? A cookie? Get the hell off my property, you malcontent. And I'll you with whiskey anytime, I got a shotgun pistol, but I don't know. There is a scroll over here. Did you collect it? I did not. Yeah, here it is. So then it looks like my twin brother Sorrow's gone and got himself promoted. Oh yeah, he's big time now. Guarding the main gate and everything, but he's not so great. And gullible as all get out, let me tell you. I'll bet you bucks to barnacles he lets in some fake pirates any day now. <sighs> oh my god. Don't do that. I was gonna get up early and do a couple workouts and get some stuff uploaded. Oh, 
Are we going this way? I don't know. I'm talking to Crooked Eye Phil. Oh, yeah, there's a purple up here. That's why I came up here. Oh. I came in to loot that, and then I saw blue up here. Oh, wait. Yeah. Are we sure he's not super evil? All right. Let's get this totally, probably not, but maybe evil dude out of there. Ooh. Jim Beam, what do you do to me? What? Straight dressing my booze for tonight. Giving myself to a man. <clears throat> Damn right, boo. I them directiones. Ah. Uh, if only I could have a girlfriend that talked like Tiny Tina. That'd be great. Just, just around me, though. Not around, like, adults. <laughs> I'd, I'd love it if she talked like that around me, but when we're around adults, talk like a fucking adult. <laughs> I guess that takes away from the whole... Never mind. Shut up, Eli. Shut up. Sh just, just stop it. Just, just stop it. Stop making me see the error of my ways. <laughs> touché, touché. By I'm gonna learn by the loved ones around me telling me what's what, or at least questioning my choices. In life. This map only shows where the local town is. You sure you want to date a girl that talks like that? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> well, I mean, Tiny Tina talks normal most of the time. She's, when she's excited, she'll talk like a teenage girl because she's a teenage girl. Well, like a yeah, you're right. A nerdy teenage girl. What the hell? Oh my god, what happened? Uh, I don't know. Did you die or something? I died. Like, I straight up, I look over at the screen for just a second, and within like the millisecond of me looking at the screen, I just instantly died. I didn't even see myself on screen die because there's a delayed reaction. I should have kept staring. What the hell? I must have... Oh, I fell off of this freaking waterfall. I was backing up along this... Oh my god, that makes sense. Because if I was getting hit or killed by something, I would have felt the vibration in my controller and looked over and killed it. But instead, it was just instantaneous death, so I, I must have fell off that waterfall. 
damn it, dude, that's 322,000 down the drain. And I need, oh my god, I'm full. My inventory's full. Is there vendors? Um. Oh, crap. I think you can fast travel to the vendors over at the start, yeah. You the just map. have to run back, yeah. Damn it. Uh, let me draw everything that's not worth hanging out. Of Shirley. Alright, goodbye, Shirley. Five poetry pages. Nice. Half, well, what are you like two thirds through the game? Uh, yeah. Yeah, two thirds is a good. Oh, damn. Hey, you might want to come back here with your increased loot luck. Because I just opened the legendary crate. Yeah. yeah, he did. I'll, I'll let the uh, thingy get it. Yeah, all that stuff is under 5,000. I dropped everything that's under 5,000. 5,000 dollars? Yeah. I think you just got a legendary. I did. Certificate of non evilness. Although I still have my doubts. So voices. I know, right? I'm not the one who made him sound super evil. You did. Maybe I wanted to see how prejudiced my players are. Eh? You ever think of that? I will admit that had not occurred to me. No. <laughs> yeah, get in. All right, fine. I'm a voicist. Is that what you want to hear? Hey, admitting it is the first step. Yeah. Ugh. I mean, who doesn't judge somebody by their voice every once in a while? I think someone with a deep ass voice would be like 35 years old and you find out they're only 16, you know? I didn't realize it until this, until this chick I'm talking to. But you judge people by their voices? Yeah. How do you judge people by their voices? 
I I would say it's just women. Mm. But I don't know, like. Usually I go by like. No, age. yeah, it's definitely women. Like dudes, I don't really give two shits about their voice. Like I just don't give two shits about most dudes, anyways. But when it comes to women, it's like the deeper the voice. And obviously they are a biological woman. It's like, do you smoke meth or smoke cigarettes? Or why is your voice sounding raspy and deep, you know? So that's that's the only thing, really. It's like some of these women that have, like, the, the deeper, scratchier voices but are legitimately biologically female. And it's just kind of like... Did you used to smoke a lot of cigarettes and... I don't know. Uh, actually, funny enough, a lot of reasons, or a good reason why most people who don't do any types of drugs and they have, like, really deep voices, it's actually because they had cancer in their throat. Right, right, right. Which also makes them extremely self-conscious about their voice. <laughs> Sadly, yeah. Poor people. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's my whole thing. It's... Comes in women. Level 40. There you go. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. I need a vendor. We can walk over to a vendor. I do not want to listen to that song. Something's supposed to open this. What? What's back here? Hmm. Let's look at the map. Yeah, it's like another spot. Okay. I should have jumped down here. They certainly did not, but I did. Smack my booty and call me Judy. Well, well, Arr, arr, arr. You shiver me to murders. Arr. Daryl Fernbreaker. Alright, I'm gonna teleport to some vendors. How do I teleport to some vendors? Oh. Gotta go to one of those. Hey, go to one of the things. The only the one that we can. Okay. <laughs> I'll be back in a little bit. It's like a scarecrow. Hey, there's vendors right here. Eli. Oh, I didn't know. Until now. I have no idea how to get back to you either. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I do. I think there's a fast travel without vendors closer. Yeah, it looks like it. All right, cool.
Oh. What happened? Ah! Oh my god. I look down to change the song on my phone and I fall off of this walk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm trying to get to 17,200 wait no 17 million 200 thousand so that way I can buy wait oh shit you're right there I was running ahead uh, I lured shit towards us we're under attack Fires. Arg! Hey Eli, have you watched the uh, live action One Piece yet? No. I think you'd really like it. What is that? I just think you'd really like it. I don't know what it is, but I I was watching it and I all I thought was, oh it's well it's like a dad thing. There's like a couple dad moments of like these like captains that have taken these guys under their, you know, wing and but I just think that you'd uh I think you'd really dig it. And it has definitely inspired my ass to watch the anime, so wow. Well, have fun with that. I know, right? A thousand six hundred episodes. We'll see in Feels years. like there's more than that. <laughs> well, it's still yeah, ongoing. I think they're still making it's, it's, it. Yeah. yeah, it's still ongoing. It's not even done yet. So, I mean, yeah, I, I really, I've already watched this season uh, three times. I had it on in the background last week while I was gaming and stuff. But man, it's, it's good, dude. It's like I love the character build and all the characters you get introduced to. I loved all their dynamics amongst one another. I mean, it, it's a. I just wish that. I just wish that Cowboy Bebop wasn't met with so much backlash. Because Cowboy Bebop only has one season in the anime. And so it would have been hella cool for Netflix. There's only one to, season? Yeah, it only had one season. And so it would have been really cool for people to just let Netflix have fun with the universe in which is Cowboy Bebop because we only had the one season anyways you know and so now you know One Piece is going so strong but luckily I mean the whole thing is though I guess is they're working with the creator of One Piece I don't think anybody was working with the creator of Cowboy Bebop but um because they're working with this guy and you know everything's collaborating and they're being being able to condense a bunch of stories into episodes and cutting out some of the riffraff like they did game of thrones and whatnot uh it's it's a de it's good it's a decent story and people even diehard fans that were already praising this is going to be shit because it's netflix and whatever they're already like holy shit this is actually pretty fucking good and I was actually excited to hear them say that because usually I don't care for their opinion anyways. But me not ever watching any of One Piece anime, I was just going in blind. And now I'm inspired to watch the anime because this was damn good. It's overall damn good entertainment and cinema in my personal opinion. Especially since I have so many connected dad moments for these captains that have taken on some of their... Uh, they're lower level pirates. I don't know what they're called. Uh, they're uh, deckhands. And so, are you doing that time thing? Um, yeah. Letting it finish. I didn't know where the uh, starter was, it? was. So, I'm going to let it go through and then I'm going to start it up again and see if I can haul ass over there. I don't like where it is. I don't know how to get to it either, so... They, they gave me a lot of time to do this, apparently. <laughs> Poor kid. There we go. I'm 
that to go through. And... Oh, that's one. And then the second one. Where's... No! How do I get up there? Oh. Let me see how I get up there. I don't think so. I don't like these roofs. How would you... Experience? Where... Do you want me to do it by the awnings? figure out how to get up there and I fall. I'm in no real rush. I'm actually just killing everybody so I can loot everything and go back and sell it all. When you get off, I'm gonna go back to the grounding with this and I'm gonna look for everything. And then I'll probably do the well I'll do that till I have to get off at least. You know. max level is like what's the mythic max I don't know yeah I'm surprised yeah I'm We're still trying to get there yourself so of use from it. Reflectors. Mm -hmm. I would have told you if it dropped you a legendary, because I would have heard it. Well, it had a, a customizable that looked like it might be something I hadn't got, but it was. I don't like how your lost loot thing picks up the stuff that you've already gotten. Yeah. put those totems around to protect the pirates from the monsters. Just as I theorized. Oh, is it? Is it really? Or are you just saying that now that I figured it out so you look like a big smarty pants? I don't need your approval. Ugh, whatever. Now that we've destroyed the evidence, let's just get up to the jail and defend our client. I love spell weaves. Well, the ones that use a wand, those are my favorite spells. The wand, yeah. Oh, ghost ship? There's a ghost what the ship. Hell? 
Uh, yeah, it's bones through with a chance. Yeah. For just in time, my dear Lachance, wind of my heart sail has been captured. It's the oh. thieving pirate lord, long bronzed Gilbert. I aim to run him through with a rusty cutlass with a lance. He wears the most potent protection. There it is. The chances blood armor. After Gilbert sweet yes. talked his way onto our boat last night, he stole the chance away and vanished. Must have been using that sea sorcery that's so popular here on yes. Go talk with the local witch doctor. We'll have to fight fire oh my God. with fire. Oh, You're just the same person. <laughs> Wait. No. D is this... I don't know. I don't remember. I don't think it... <sighs> you, you, you also noticing that there's a lot of nooses just kind of sitting around here? Oh, yeah. That's what they did, it's kind of pirates. Well, well I, don't, I don't I wouldn't think that the pirates would want to hang pirates. Yeah. They just want to kill them. I thought, I thought that They'd was just like... hang them off like, their ship the, all the time. Really? Just to let them know that if you joined our crew, this is what happens if you betray us. Hell, some of them got tied up in the front, like those, uh... Yeah. Mermaid statues. That's what most of the shipping companies did. To, well, I mean, that's just how they did most. You know. They just hung people back then, man. And this is how it was. It was one of the most effective ways to get rid of someone back then. And I guess technically probably the most humane before uh, lethal injection. Uh, don't forget, uh, it was usually scheduled to be in front of the town because why? To show people this is what happens when you break the law, I remember. But also, what happens whenever you watch something like that? Oh, uh, desensitizes you? Well, it's a, actually a source of, like, entertainment. It's an excitement. It's also, like, a keep you in your fucking place. But at the end of the day, yeah, if you're going to make it a show, it's like, yeah, you don't want to be this person next, so don't do this. At the, well, man, yeah, I mean, it's almost like a source of entertainment. Well, I mean, it was a source of entertainment for the people who enjoyed watching that. You yeah, know, too. People Especially for the good citizens being... that... Exactly. Getting what... Taking getting justice. So, now, yeah, I'd man. say some of the criminals, they're, they're, like, stealing something. Especially back in, like, 1850. Like, I feel like hanging someone for just stealing a couple bucks. Is a bit much, but hey, that's that's just my opinion on it. Oh, you know? I mean that's not typically what people were hung for, though. Yeah, they were hung for murder and rape. Some type of tyranny. Yeah, rape for sure. Big ass fucking uh, crimes, like big ass like steals. Like, if you're talking like someone stealing a couple bucks or like an apple or some food, no, you're you're talking like they'd have to like work for that person or maybe lose a finger, if not hand, depending upon where you're at. But probably hand. 
but like stealing like a low a super low increment worth of something you're not gonna be hung for it they're just gonna make an example of you like don't fucking steal random shit like that or we'll take a fucking finger or hand <laughs> especially the kids especially the adolescents that are acting out like that Oh yeah, no, they'll they'll definitely be losing limbs, and then they'll just have to be part of the workforce, a worker bee for the rest of their life because they've been mutilated, and they have to learn something that's going to keep them in that position, while you know everybody else around them is able to move on and learn new things because they got both their hands. But uh, yeah, that was that's a huge thing back then, man. Even getting a scratch. Stepping on a nail, cutting yourself. Oh, dude, that was a death sentence. Like, to get infected back then and not have the money to get any antibiotics that they had, like, that were new to the uh, entire medical field. Oh, man. It's crazy to think about. It's insane to think about. It's insane to think about there's only a billion people on this world until 1600 uh, AD after death. Well, and, uh, and then within it makes a sense. span of 423 years, we put, what, 7.7 7 billion people on the world. Like, whoa. And, the, and the, the best whole, part about it is like there for a while, everybody was like, oh man, this place is getting too small for all of us. And thanks to Elon Musk and a bunch of other people that were interested in this theory and challenge to figure out how many people it would take to actually crowd the world, they came up to 22 billion people. 22 billion people could fit comfortably on this earth until it was finally like kind of and in with and within the regions of their country. This isn't we're not even talking about like figuring out how to inhabit Antarctica or the North Pole or like uh, the Sahara Desert. This is like it, within the countries and the regions we already have established, you could fit 22 billion people uh, comfortably. And so, I mean, like for an overpopulation crisis, there's not one. There's not one at all. It was a scare tactic. It was a scare narrative. It was and here, look look what's happening now. Uh, Everybody is being mutilated and castrated and not people aren't wanting to have kids just in a general. And now we're actually having a crisis where there's not enough humans being born in certain regions like China, Japan, Australia, uh, not India. India is, India is booming. India is fucking... India is actually about to be the next like superpower if they keep going the way that they're going, especially since they just got to the moon. Oh my God, like if India, so India got to the moon this past week and they're already talking about sending up materials in which to make a moon base. And here I have, I've been fucking preaching this. I've been, I, and I hate to say it like that, but I have been wishing that Elon Musk would stop dealing with all the politics and focus on space again. Like, please start focusing on SpaceX and getting us off this god, off this damn planet, because there's a lot of stupid people we need to leave behind. <laughs> Man, they're, like, I, like I've been preaching for the longest time, I will be a space janitor, I will get me a nice little room on some space station just doing janitor story you know whatever and i will just send my money to you guys like my family here on earth like i i'm i'm cool with that especially if we're expanding the human race into something that's so much more than what we are right now because squabbling amongst ourselves and bickering and fighting and it, this is this is all just so this is just so outdated. I, I I can't. I still just can't believe we're still doing this after everything that's been going on. Uh, it's human ambition. Yeah, I don't know. Do you want me to start this? Uh, yeah. There's no reply. He ain't in there. He go. Damn, they must have moved him to the jail already. Let's track him down. 
Guess we'll have to figure out how to get up there. There appears to be only one way forward. Man, I hope it's not another puzzle. Nope. Precarious cliffside platforming. Oh. Oh, Great. What did she say? Uh, oh, cliffside platforming. Yay! That happens enough, at least. When I can't find a oh. door, I just make one. Really? What's that spell called? Oh, no, I mean, like, with an explosion. You're just a simple little man, aren't you? I'm not little! Okay, you see a cannon. Wow, we're really just giving it away there, huh? Well, I didn't want you to be stuck. Being stuck sucks, but... Uh... <laughs> Boom! Oh, I didn't do anything to see Calm your nips, knucklehead. We still gotta find our Yeah, I was like, so how do we get in there? <laughs> and their legal definition of evil is pretty open to interpretation. Oh yeah? Where would I find that if I wanted to give it a little look see? Appendix R. <laughs> ha! What? You you know. You know what? Never mind. Oh, I get it. Do you? No. No. Yeah. I'll get I'll get the jerk eater. Hey, there's a Legendary chest back here, or a red chest is what it's called. Everything's purple. For you. Holy hell, was that my reload? Was what your reload? Uh, it looked like a red bomb that went off up there. It's a light machine gun. Looking gun at least. Now we got problems against a light machine gun. Kinda, yeah. Dude, I love these guns that do damage when you throw them and they make like a little AOE of some damage. Good guys, it was cool. <laughs> I heard that. Crap. If there be anyone who would stand in defense of this clearly evil jump sack, you must report to the courthouse at once. Oh, yeah, 
let's go to the courthouse. Man, I still haven't figured out what that spell you gave me does. Oh. Some of those wands Never you have mind. to hold down, by the way. Yeah, I know. Okay. Let me get the stronger hits. Yeah. Since I'm a spell... Uh, a dead shot is what it's called. Since I'm a Graveborn and a spell shot. My, my, uh, spells recharge and charge extremely fast. Nice. So. That's, whoops. Let's come in here trying to kill people. Kill some parts. Some parts. Arrgh. I need to do some PvP battles tomorrow with some MTG battles. I need to upload all four of these videos with the Bowler's Gate that I do. Oh. And then, what was I going to play tomorrow? I'm getting frustrated with Diablo, honestly. It's... Ugh. <laughs> Um, I finally got to the hardest difficulty, and man, pain in the ass. It's the hardest difficulty, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> especially as a character I chose. It wasn't bad with my druids. It wasn't bad at all with my druids, but using a necromancer, oh my god, I'm so squishy, and then my minions aren't shit, even with the buffs that they've been given through updates. All I gotta, do, all I know is I gotta get to 75. If I can get to 75, which I just gotta keep doing group stuff, then I should be alright. That's a, is, isn't that a woman? Why is her voice so deep? Oh, smoking meth or smoking cigarettes, like I was talking about earlier. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of these judges. Pirates trying to confer into democracy is dumb anyway. You guys need to get out of here. Just be pirates. Or go into actual society. Glad we what? found that out. Evil sucks. <laughs> Listen to you. Oh, it takes some allergy medicine before you go to bed. Uh, yeah, I'm taking NyQuil. Or that. <laughs> Come 
my laughs have turned into a six-year-old smoker's laugh. All right. Um, Bright Hoof. Like, uh, you want to go to Bright Hoof? Yeah, I want to check that damn lost loot thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we only got like 15 minutes left. Let's just do some boss runs. We'll go back to Doriel or whatever his name is. <laughs> Doriel. Man, I should get back into Diablo 2 again. I haven't really gotten out of it. I've just been playing so many other games. It's like I can't hey. focus on... Uh, it's only getting upgraded. Apparently, with this new season coming out, big changes are going to be implemented. So, oh, that'll be fun. Maybe I know, right? Hey, we should make seasonal characters. We what? should make us. Uh, we should make a season five character, dude, and work together to get through to the end. Fucking a. That's a lot of purples. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, same, it was full. That's why I was like, man, I gotta go check this thing, because I know I missed a shot. Hey! Too. What's that? Oh. Look at, look at, look at the yellow I missed. I, I can't see it, because it's... Oh, it's a... Um... 25 fire rate, 20 reload speed and regenerate ammo while ward is depleted plus maximum health. Maybe? Ah. <laughs> 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 I just I just got a whole bunch of stuff I could sell it. Wait, what's this? <laughs> what? Oh my god, I'm like half a grant. I'm half a mil off from being able to max out my bank SDU. And that's the last one I need to get the trophy. Son of a bitch. Oh, wait, we'll do, we're doing boss runs. Okay, I'm going to stop this recording.